Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So time is flying, and it's that time of the month again where StatCounter has released their global stat server results for the desktop Windows version market share worldwide for June 2025. So just a quick overview as to those market share percentages and one or two interesting things taking place for last month. Now, first of all, out of the six versions of Windows represented, three have decreased in market share and three have increased, so it's a 50-50 split. And starting at the back, Windows 8.1 is one of those to have increased slightly from 0.21% in May to 0.28% in June. Windows 8 has actually overtaken Windows 8.1 and is moving to fifth place. And that's increased from 0.29% to 0.31%. So that's an interesting change. Windows XP is one of those to have decreased from 0.54% to 0.43%, but according to StatCounter, still used more than Windows 8. Windows 7 has decreased from 2.47% in May to 2.19% in June. And here's where it gets interesting. Windows 11 has increased almost 4% in a month from 43.23% to 47.83%. And obviously a big reason for this is the upcoming end of support of Windows 10. A lot of Windows users are moving over to Windows 11 and obviously every device you buy now, laptop, has got Windows 11 pre-installed. So that's also a big indicator. So... Windows 11 and Windows 10 are neck on neck. Literally in, in give or take a percent time, so to speak, Windows 11 will have the same market share as Windows 10. So almost exactly the same market share. And then obviously Windows 10 was on 53.2% in May and has fallen to 48.89% in June. So that's almost a 5% drop. So Windows 10's market share has decreased more than Windows 11's is increasing. And obviously that's due to the end of support for obvious reasons. And if we head to the chart, I always said it would be interesting to find out when these two lines would actually start overlapping and that day has come. Quite an interesting look on this graph. So we can see that Windows 10 in June 2024 was 66, just say 66%. In June 2025, let's just call it 49%, just round it off. The same time frame for Windows 11, June 2024, let's just call it 30%. Let's just call it 48% for the same time frame. In June 2025 so very interesting so the next time I post a stat counter video Windows 11 will be the most used version of the Windows operating system and yeah at the bottom are those other four out of support although there is a bit of movement it's not really affecting anything in the bigger scheme of things so very interesting changes going on here in number one and two and it's going to be quite a nostalgic moment so to speak to see Windows 10 move into second place. But I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.